boys and girls, sports fans, Den here, JDOD, and I have Mr. Do- sorry, Dribble, Doctor. Doctor, Mich- there you Michelle go. Michelle <laughs> board member, SAP. Good morning to you, Michelle. How are you doing? I'm very good, Dennis. Nice to see you. And you, right. So, a couple of examples of how you're seeing Hannah change the world, because that's the thing that you really want to uh, push forward, I believe, yeah? Yeah. The, the two big ones that uh, we have been working on, um, one is in the area of uh, healthcare. I, one of my close friends and uh, colleagues is uh, fighting uh, late-stage pancreatic cancer right now. And uh, we are doing everything we can to help him. And, um, but it is difficult. Yeah. And uh, yeah. the state, the humanity's state in understanding what is going on uh, with complex diseases like cancer is horrible. Um, we should be able to do better. We started a project a few months ago with uh, Carlos Bustamante, who runs the genetics center at Stanford. Um, and he told me that it takes, at Stanford, it takes about 30 days to process and sequence and interpret a genome. Um, and in other places in the world, like in Germany, it takes several weeks. It takes like up to eight weeks. In other parts of the world, this is not even possible. And yet, from the time that the blood sample or the tissue sample is taken, this is simply an information processing problem. And we look at it, we have this unbelievable database technology, we have built software for 40 years, we have to do better than process a human genome in 30 days. Mm. We should be able to do it while a patient, I mean 30 days is a long time for a cancer patient. It is, you get five, six chemotherapies, your life is irrevocably changed once, once you have been ident- diagnosed with cancer. So we should be able to do that and identify the, the issues and understand the patterns in the genome while you are in the hospital with the doctor in the few minutes. We will do that. We will get there. We are doing some amazing work with Stanford, with the Charité Hospital in Berlin, with the Mitsui guys in Japan, with the Molecular Health, which is a company in Germany, and also with Kiagen, uh, which is one of the largest bioinformatics companies in the world. We have a partnership with them. We are writing our own gene sequencing algorithms. We are doing work with other companies who have... Uh, You're writing your own gene sequencing algorithms. Our own algorithms directly okay. inside HANA. We right. have some brilliant, brilliant kids who are working on this. Um, we actually already see some incredibly exciting results about this. Mm-hmm. Hasso will talk about this uh, on the 25th of October, which is, I think, uh, 10 days or so from now, uh, at a conference in Berlin. Um, so we are very excited about that and, and motivated, inspired to do something that really changes the world in this area. The other one that is very close to my heart is in banking. Uh, you know, financial transactions are a basic human need. And you look at India, where I am from, 80% of Indians don't have a bank account right now. Uh, there is this really inspiring project that Nandan Nilekani is running called UID, or Aadhaar, which, which is a digital identity for all Indians. And um, one of my mentors is the chairman of ICICI Bank, which is one, the largest private bank in India. Um, they expect that with Aadhaar, they will have six, seven hundred million consumers in the next four to six years. And how do you process information for like six, seven hundred million people? That's pretty hard. That is, that is hard. And we have been working with them on HANA to do this, uh, to scale to these incredible numbers, that a person could ask for a $10 credit or a $10 loan uh, from an SMS on a small, on a small phone and get that answer within seconds. Uh, that is powerful. That, that really empowers uh, people. That and makes a difference to people in those communities because of the way in which um, they, they operate financially. Yeah? Exactly. That right. makes a real, real difference in commerce, in finance, um, in, uh, and then, of course, in energy, in education. We are working with companies on exploring oil and exploring for gas in more sustainable ways, understanding you know, what is going on with wind turbines and things like that in real time based on telemetry data from, from those things. We're working with large companies on, on these projects. And then on the small side, you know, um, what I find very interesting is that these days, if you look at the 100, 103 startups that we have building on HANA, they are not all commercially motivated. Mm-hmm. Of course, they are, they, there is a commercial aspect to that, but a lot of them, it's very inspiring. They think about things that change the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, there is a company that is doing better elderly care for senior citizens in uh, Ireland. And there is a company that is doing, you know, m- prediction of um, the expansion of a disease, of, a, of epidemics in India. There is a company that does the tracking of food uh, in Germany. Um, and 
we saw a nine-year-old, I think it was a nine or ten-year-old kid that's got a little mobile application yes. that tells you the provenance of the apple that you're eating because it may not be what you really want, right? Yes, and, and that, that those kids from this high school in Maryland, they built that app on NetWeaver Cloud. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, that, was, uh, uh, that was a very good story. That was amazing. And, and doing, there's a company doing like star, um, visualizing stars uh, mm -hmm. in the sky. That, so these kinds of things, I think, are, are uh, beyond the commercial success. Of course, the commercial success will follow, but these inspirational things are, are really quite amazing. How many, will, how many inspirational things will we have in another year? You've got 100 now? Come on, how many? Um, put, put your neck on the line for this one. I would say that uh, I would be very disappointed if, by, uh, if I, within a year from now we have not managed to deliver incredible new inspirational applications in at least 10 industries. At least 10 industries. That will do for me. That will what awesome. keeps you up at night? Come on, last question. The, uh, the state of education, uh, the right. state of education, the, uh, the state of training, uh, the lack of understanding of uh, things that HANA can do. Um, that is one thing that keeps me up at night. We just launched, Ayaz is here, he, he, his team just launched the HANA Academy, um, inspired by the Khan Academy. 125 small videos of five, six minutes each, and uh, with how-to instructions on how to get, this is all free, all open in the community. Uh, not some training certification thing and so forth. Of course, those things have their, their place in, in the world, but uh, we should be able to get better on education. Um, so expanding that is something that keeps me up at night. Um, the other thing that keeps me up at night is that is complexity. Um, it is easy for large companies to do complex and complicated things. It's been doing a long time, yeah? Yeah, because you've been doing that for a long time. Mm. It is much more difficult, far more difficult than is widely believed to, you know, to bring simplicity mm. to a complex enterprise. And we have been doing these things. They look obvious and straightforward. The app house that we built in, in California and now in five other places, uh, the consumer applications that we built, um, the uh, launch of the developer program that you know you and inspired us to do back in uh, back at Sapphire, both of you, um, and now the launch of Hana on Amazon. These kinds of things they look to the common sense community. They look straightforward to do, but they're incredibly difficult. Mm -hmm far more difficult than I thought when I became a board member okay. uh, to do. And well, keep doing the difficult stuff. <laughs> so it's simple for buggers like me, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. But it is fun, you know, it is fun. Vishal, always good to see you. Thank you, Thank Dennis. you very much. Heard it first Thanks, here. Dennis. Thank you very much. You just cut my throat. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Thanks, John.